Hi guys, Steve here, and this video I want to show how to get all the artifacts on the Lost Island map. For real, not in creative mode. Now if you're on a single player, there's a bug on most of the caves where the artifact doesn't spawn in. So if you get that, you're going to have to do a dino wipe on your map to get the artifact to spawn. But when you do, is another bug that stops the creatures spawning inside those artifact caves. Which is easy for you if you want to get them, but you might be wondering why there's no creatures there. If you're thinking about renting your own ARC server, or a server for any game, I'll put a link in the description below of a server company I use. I've used them for years and they're very good. I get a bit of commission if you use my link, and you get 10% off for life. So once you watch the video, check out the link below. For most of the caves, it's best to take a crossbow and grappling hook, or a cinema crops. And the first one we're going to get is the artifact of the strong. I'll show you the surroundings so you can find the cave entrance. And we're here in the north middle of the island at 26 by 54. There's a double waterfall. If you go down here, behind the waterfall is a cave entrance at 28 by 54. Let's go in. I've used bug repellent stop the insects attacking me and you'll get less aggro that way work your way in there's like a little step area there go in and head to the left and there's another little step area there Here you come into a big cave so you can just fly up in the air. And avoid most of the creatures. Go past a small waterfall. Or we'll just go down the river, it's easier. Then you come to the main waterfall with a drop going down. Go down to the bottom and head in towards the waterfall. Take the first right. Kill any creatures down here. Let's get rid of those. Kill the carnos. Too much damage. Make sure I've got them all. Get rid of the scorpion. We're clear. Yep. So I took the first right, then take the first left. And you come to a blue flower area. Oh, there's a little fur ox. First time I've seen one of them on this. I'll have to make a video on it. Then take the next right, and you come to the artifact. Jump on the platform. Just making sure nothing can get to me. And there's the artifact of a strong. Right, collect it. Jump back up on the platform. Or fly, we're using my crops. Now take the first left. Pass a little fluffy ferox. And then right. The cinema crops will eat anything with chitin in. Let's just throw it down. I'll turn on its scream to scare any creatures coming after me. Then left, and you come to the bottom of a waterfall. Use a crossbow and grappling hook just to climb quicker. I could just fly up there, but let's try it going up with just a grappling hook. There we 
we go. Made it to the top. I've got cinema crops so you can just fly. There's a river again. Make your way back up it. You can fly up and then just glide forward if you wanted to. Can't dip down much, so the gliding's not very fast. Just keep an eye on your cinema crop stamina. Because the cave's high, you can just fly over everything. And the cinema crops is so easy to tame, which I've done a video which I'll link at the end. And there's a little step area again. Go up the ramp. Then take the right. Then you come to another little step area. Go up the ramp again. Follow the tunnel through. You'll get to the main waterfall. And here we are at the entrance again. And we're at 28 by 54. In the top middle of a map. That's how you get the artifact of the strong. Now we're going to get the artifact of the immune. We're in a volcanic area. I'll show you the surroundings so you can see where the cave entrance is. We're at the top right hand side of a map. And there's a cutaway side of a cliff here. And if you go down, you'll find a small cave entrance. That's where we are on the map. At 28 by 71. Alright, we're ready. It's hot in there, so I've got ghillie armor on to keep cool. Plus there's a few insects, so I'm using bug repellent. Taking a shotgun with a light, so we can see where we're going. Let's go in. Follow the tunnel into the purple light. Go up the tunnel. It works its way up. And you'll get to a ramp. Keep going up. And there's the first insects. If you've done a dino wipe on a single player, there's a bug where the cave monsters don't spawn in. I've got my cinema crops, so I can just fly over the beasties if I don't want to fight them. Oh, there's a magma saw. Go to the right, and there's a ramp here. Work your way up it, or you could just simply fly over everything. There's a golem. Oh, I it. That's a big lava one. Then you come to a big open cave. If you're going to use your grappling hooks to go down, I'd go down about here. Because it's a lower point. But there's a magma saw there. So what I'm going to do is just go back up. Got my cinema crops, so I can just fly over to the ramp on the right hand side. Carry on going towards the lava. And there is the artifact. It's much easier if you bring a cinema crops. Those are extremely easy to tame. Okay, collect the artifact of the immune. Work way back. Get something to drink. Stay away from a magma saw. Don't want flame board. 
No, a quicker way to get up in the air is to use a grappling hook. Then release it, and you can just fly up with cinema crops. Go through the tunnel. Run past the lava golem. If you're on foot, you need to run past those pretty quick. Make your way down the ramp. Then to the right. If you've flown up this high, you can just glide all the way back down and avoid everything. Work your way to the left. Go down this ramp. See, it's a lot easier just to glide. Go down the main starting tunnel. It's a bit dark. You see daylight. And we're back at the start. And the entrance is at 28 by 71. And that's how you get the artifact of your moon. Now we're going to get the artifact of a cunning. Let me show you the surroundings so you can find the entrance. On the right hand side of the map, coordinates 59 by 71. If you go down here, you'll find the cave entrance at 5872. Okay, let's go in. A shotgun with a flashlight on so we can see. Follow the tunnel down. I'm taking a little flapper so I can glide around. Go past the sulfur cave part. It's easy up to now, just keep following it. And you'll open up into a big, huge cave with an old shipwreck, which is quite good. Now, there's quite a lot of bats in there, so you want to be careful. Now I'm going to fly up here on this ledge, but you can grapple hook if you want. The cave entrance there behind the ship is where you need to be heading. I want to get more height. You can either land on the ship I've got a scare on the cinema crops and jump down or you can just glide in the tunnel. Go to the right hand side of the tunnel and you get an orange mushroom cave. Keep going. See another mushroom cave in front of you. Make sure nothing's following me. And there's the artifact. Now I can just fly across or use a grappling hook, but I'm going to walk, show you where to go on foot. You don't need to go to that tunnel to the left. Just shoot any beasties in here. If you're on single player, the artifact might not spawn, so you have to do a dino wire. But if you do, the dinos don't seem to spawn back in the cave. Clear the way, you can just jump over there. And there we go, the artifact of a cunning. Let's collect it. You can just jump back onto the ledge if you come on foot. Or you can just fly across. Right, get your gun ready. You might have to fight a few bats on the way back. Go back up the tunnel. There's one. Put your loot box up if you want. The cinema crop scared it again. Just run past these. 
Now, if you're coming here on foot, you could go across the bridge. Just do this in reverse. Go through the shipwreck. Use the grappling hook to get across there. I'm just going to fly up. Then glide through the tunnel. Follow the tunnel all the way through. And it takes you to the entrance. It's as simple as that. And the entrance is at 58 by 72 in the bottom right of a map. And that's how you get the artifact of a cunning. Now we're going to get the artifact of a brute. We're in a desert area of a map in the bottom right hand side. I'll show you the surroundings so you can see where the cave entrance is. Follow the river up from the sea. And there's a small cave entrance here. At 87 by 84. Alright, let's go and get it. There's a bit of walking involved. Take a shotgun with a light on so you can see where we're going. Follow the river up. Small waterfall, go up the ramp. Keep on going up. Small bridge across there. Let's kill these creatures. Shotgun's always good. Oh, sneaky snake. Alright, let's go back. Cross over, you can take the bridge or just jump. Make your way on the right hand side. And follow the tunnel in. Out for centipedes. They can carry on, or as a tunnel to the left, you want to carry on forward. Then take the next right. Just kill this mantis. It's a tough one. It took a few hits. Come into a big open cave with a ramp up to the right hand side. Walk up it, takes you through to a tunnel. Go down it, another open cave with some steps. And there's the artifact. Just run and jump to each step. There's the artifact of a brute. Collect it. Make your way back down the stepping stones. left keep going left go left again past the creatures you've killed if you quit the bodies help you by guiding away basically just keep left 
and then you're out in the main tunnel corridor. This is where you came up from, so head back down. Follow the river. And you see daylight. And you're safe. And the cave coordinates again is at 87 by 84. The bottom right of the map. That's how I get the artifact of a brute. Now we're going to get the artifact of a Skylord. There's two entrances. The first is a river next to the green obby. It goes to a waterfall. And you'll hear it in the middle of a map. This is the quickest way to the entrance. At 61 by 56. You can either parachute down, fly, glide, or use a crossbow and grappling hook like me. Right mouse button to lay yourself down. Get armed up with a shotgun. Go into the waterfall and you'll find a cave. It's best if you go in the daytime then the Megalosaurus is asleep. Work your way down the cave. There's quite a lot of them. got cinema crops on scare that's what's hit them before you get to the crystal work your way around in a u-shape got the river a bit and there's an entrance right that's the first way to get here which is the quickest the longer way is by the sea follow the river inland and you see a little cave entrance down there the cordon 65 by 59 Let's go in. Oh, this is a pretty long way. It's fairly easy. It's just a lot of walking. Follow the river up. Go to the left and go up the ramp. going up to the left, up another ramp, go left again, keep on going, the cinema crops scared them. Right, this is where we came down before. And this is a cave entrance you want to get to. Right, so we dropped down the quick way before on the left. The long way it was on the right. If you have a cinema crops, leave it outside. Or it will try eating all the dragonflies down there and pull loads of aggro. We want to avoid the insects. So on this one I'll be using bug repellent. I'll get your hot bar and use it. I've already got some on me. Then go into the cave. Now you should be able to walk past all the insects. But you're going to have to kill the snakes. There's one I've already done. And then you're likely to aggro the insects. So if there's a group of them it's best to kill them before you move on. Centipede. I'll probably walk past it, but I'm not risking it. Right, make your way down the left tunnel. And you want to come to a cave with spider webs, an orange glowing wall. Right, there's insects here. 
If you stay far enough away from them, you can avoid them. Like so. Keep an eye out for snakes. Because they'll still aggro you. Right, got that one. We've got some centipedes blocking a path. I'll try and get past. But if you stand right on top of them, they'll aggro you. Attack you. So I'm going to have to kill these. Carry on to the left. And there's the artifact. Make sure nothing's following me. Artifact of the Skylord. Okay, grab it. Let's work our way back. Keep going right this time. Avoid those. We've still got a bug repellent on. If you don't have a bug repellent, you're going to get hundreds of dragonflies chasing you, and you'll most likely die. Take the ramp up, keep on going up, it's one long tunnel, and it takes you to the entrance again. Pick the cinema crops up, I wouldn't bother bringing one to be honest, and then you can either climb out the right side. We'll take the long path down to the left. I'm going to go left, just walk out. You might have to go past a few lizards if you've not already killed them. There's no turns, it's just going straight. It's the first lot of light. the crystals this is a fairly long way keep following your river you see daylight and there we go we're out The entrance to this cave again is at 65.59. That's how you get the artifact of a Skylord. Now we're going to get the artifact of a pack. There are two main entrances. One where you can walk in, but it's quite a long distance. And this is a quicker way where you can just drop in. This entrance is next to the waterfall by a small pond. This entrance is on the left hand side of the map at coordinates 39 by 29. Okay, let's go in. You have to be careful because it's a bit dangerous down there. Plus it's quite a steep drop. We'll just get to the edge so I can show you how deep it is. There we go, it goes all the way down there. Right, I've got a parachute. It's a bit dark. Now you can use a grappling hook to go to the sides to make sure you're safe. I'm just going to go fight my way through. Now it's a quicker way down, but there are a load of centipedes down here. So you might want to chuck some hand grenades down or fire some rockets. Look at all that mana. <laughs> Let's get over there. So go away from a waterfall and head towards the two green lights. They're a bit slow so you can outrun them. Head towards the left one. Go up. Like sulfur on the wall. Past the green light, you come to a cave, keep going straight, ignore the tunnel on the right. Past the sulfur cave again. Some stalactites and stalagmites. You want to head towards the webs. Jump on. You can hear the humming. And there we go, we found it. Like I say, that's quicker, but it's a bit dangerous. There's the artifact of a pack. Let's get it. Of 
quickest way to get it, but it's not the safest. Right, let's go back towards the webs. Past the lights. Again, keep going straight, ignore the left. Here comes the centipedes. Right. Bottleneck him in there and kill them all. If you come in on foot from the other direction, the way I'm going to show you now on the way out, then you can kill these easily on foot. So you're not parachuting or jumping down into them all. Just keep them at distance, make sure you get them all. Right, we're back in the water cave. So that was the quickest way down. Now you can use a grappling hook to get back up. We can fly up or down, it's up to you. But from a waterfall, on the way back from the artifact, take the next right. So if you're walking here, you want to take the opposite direction as I'm saying. So carry on straight. It's a big long tunnel. Keep going straight and work your way around. It bends around to the right, so on the way here you'd be bending around to the left. And then it goes left. Keep going towards the green roots. Put the light on. And then you come to a river and an entrance up there and there's daylight down there as well so you can get in from either direction and if you want to go over a slower but safer route on foot you can just play that video back in reverse I'm going to go down to this cave entrance the entrance for this is at 37 by 29 there on the map that's how you get the artifact of a pack now we're going to get the artifact of a hunter I'll show you the surroundings so you can see where the cave entrance is we're on the left hand side of the map you want to look for this cliff face and then move to the left and there's a little cave entrance at 37 by 10. To make things easier, you want to take a crossbow and grappling hooks. Right, let's go in. It's dark, so I've got a shotgun with a light on. And I'll walk slowly so you can remember where to go. Go in and take the first right. There's a scorpion there. Then you come to a cave. What you want to do is look up and the ceiling is open. You see some red crystals. Use your grappling hook to go up or fly up with your cinema chops. And you're in a cave with lots of ore, which is good harvesting. So carry on down that tunnel. Follow it round, and then take the first left, and there's a tunnel system that circles round and goes off to the right, but you want to carry on and go to the orange crystals. Now you can glide down or use a grappling hook again. Right, 
Right mouse button to lower. Once you're down, carry on to the left a bit. And you see a water passage. You've got orange crystals to the left. So head right. Carry on going, you've got some stalagmites to the left and right. With a tunnel off to the left. However, there's a little hole here, which you crouch down and go under. And there we go. That's the artifact of a hunter. Right, grab it. Goes a bit dark when you do. Rest of the cave's a dead end. Carry on forward. Crouch back down in the hole in the wall. You want to head left where you came. Go towards the water. Left again. And there's an entrance up there where you drop down from, which you can use the grappling hook to go up. Or, if you've run out, you can go to the left, up the ramp. Follow the ramp up. Take the tunnel on the right. That takes you to the entrance where you drop down. That's a circular tunnel. Carry on straight. And then turn right. Carry on going. Back to the cave with orange crystals in the roof, which was a hole in the ceiling. Drop back down. And you're in this cave again. And then from here, have a tunnel on the right and go to the tunnel on the left. Take the next left. And you're out in the open again. That was fairly easy one out. There's not many creatures in there to kill. And the entrance for this is at 37 by 10 in the top left of the map. And there's the artifact of a hunter. Now we're going to get the artifact of a devourer. And for this one you'll need to go out to sea. I'm in the bottom left of the map next to these small islands. At coordinates 82 by 15. Right, let's go down to this beach. It's a good starting off position. At 83 by 14. Right, from here. You might need something to go underwater. I'm going to use a dolphin. This is small and fast. Now, you remember my starting coordinates. 82 by 15. I'm heading out to sea to be over that, as that's where the next artifact is. 15, 15.9. There we go. That's how far we are from the islands. <coughs> there we are on the map. Dive down. Put your scuba gear on and you'll find a sunken shipwreck. Dive down, go to the front of a ship and you'll see a little hole. You can hear the artifact humming. Just check around and make sure nothing's following you. Oh, I've got a shark. I'll lead it away. 
Got nothing to kill it though. Take a harpoon gun or something to bite it with. I'll lead it to this side because the hole is on this one. I try and hide flipper inside the ship. Now some floorboards here. Let's see if you can attack it with a dolphin. Doesn't seem to break. But if you hit it with a hatchet or a pick, you can break the floorboards. Let's put a dolphin on passive. I think the shark's cheated and biting it through the ship. And then dive down. And there's the artifact. Artifact of a devourer. I kind of like this little mechanic. Grab it. Looks like I'm trapped. Knock my way through. Make more space. Then just get on your dolphin. Keep an eye out, nothing's going to bite you. So we're at 82 by 16. Then make your way back to the surface. That's where we are again next to the islands. At 82, 16. That's how you get the artifact of the devourer. I'm getting nibbled on. And finally, we're going to get the artifact of the devious and the massive. Now, these ones are a complete pain in the ass to get, but I've tried to make it easy as possible. You want to look out for these big stones in the lake. This is where we are on the map. And the entrance is at coordinates 62.5 by 46.1. It's best to take a cinema crops. Then you can just fly over all the traps down there. Right, you need to pay attention because this is going to be tricky. I'm going to equip some scuba gear. You'll probably get away with just equipping flippers. But I'm going to put the air tank on just to be safe. There's loads of insects down there, so use some bug repellent. We're all set, so jump in. Dive down. This is where the cave entrance is. You might get attacked by piranhas. Just swim past them. That's why you need the flippers. You'll come up inside a cave. With loads of centipedes. That's what you've got a bug repellent for. Right, swap out all your scuba gear for your armour. So you can move properly. Go into the cave to the right. Take the tunnel to the right. Then follow it through. I've got my cinema crops on. Because you might have centipedes blocking your path. And if you do, you can just fly over them like that. Then drop down. And we have water on the right. That step is where we came from. So take the tunnel to the left. You can fly over centipedes or just walk past them. As long as you don't stand on top of them. They won't aggro you. Follow the tunnel through. And you come to a hole in a wall where the labyrinth is. That's the first stage complete. Do not stand on these pressure stones. Because they release the booby traps, where you get trapped by lots of boobies. With the entrance hole behind you, work your way forward to the end of the corridor. And then go diagonally left. I'm just flying over all the pressure tiles. Work your way left. If you touch any of them, you might activate a trap. But they're slow to activate, so you can usually get past them before they can hurt you. Make your way up the first flight of stairs. There's some blowpipes there. That's the most dangerous trap that can pin you. Just fly over that tile to make sure it doesn't get you. Go up the stairs. Go 
work your way left, then first right. Then there's an entrance with cobwebs on it. You want to go in and go right. I activated a trap there, I didn't see. Didn't do much damage. Then right again. That's why it's best to fly around when you can. You just land to take stamina breaks. I activated another trap to drop the scorpions. I don't know how, I was just flying. I'll kill those. Go up the stairs. Work your way to the left. Double flight of stairs. Past all the dead bodies. Follow a corridor down. Work your way to the right. Then you've got a flight of stairs that go down. And you find some prison cells. And there you'll find the first artifact. It's locked in. So take the back left door, go behind the barrels, click the switch on the wall. The wall will go up and give you access to the artifact of a devious. That wall you raised is on a timer and you hear a clicking, which will get faster and faster until the wall falls down. Like so. So click the artifact. To get out again, there's a switch on the back right wall. Click it and the wall goes up. Then walk past the barrels and you see a gate on the right. There's another switch on a wall between the barrels. Click that and that raises a portcullis. Then go forward and down some stairs. Take the first left and you come to a room with pillars. Avoid all the trap stones in the middle and make your way to the right. Should be safe here, apart from that stone. Then on the back of this pillar, we have a switch. You have to get pretty close to it. Click the button. Opens this portcullis. Make your way in. And there's your other artifact. You'll hear a ticking again. As that gate will go down if you wait too long in here. Let the artifact. Go to the gate and then on the right hand side we have another button to press. Click it. Raises the gate. Work your way to the left and then there's another button to open up the gate to the barrel room where you came in from. When you've clicked that you need to rush past the pillar room up the stairs to the right, to the barrel room, that gate's about to come down, that's why you had to click the second button down there. Go through the rooms, into the corridor, and then go up the stairs, go forward, work your way to the left. And carry on. Past the dead bodies. Down the second flight of stairs. Around the corner and then the second flight. Activated this trap again. Kill the scorpions. Should have just flew over that. Then go to the left. To the webbed entrance and take the left, then it splits off and go to the right, follow it round, go down the stairs. This is where the blowpipes were. Now, if you walk down quickly and then fly, it shouldn't hit you. Carry on, you'll see some barrels, body with arrows in it, precious stones. Head towards the stones, but don't touch them. You can stay on the right hand side if you want. There's cobwebs on the corner. Take the left, past the door, and there's the entrance to the labyrinth. Go through the hole. My bug repellent's about to run out, so I'm going to stay here and refresh it. That 
that'll do. That's still a nasty centipede. You'll come to the cave with the water at the back. Go up the step to the right. Keep hugging the left as you go up. You come to a cave, go left again. And this is the main water entrance. Right, switch to your scuba gear. You might have to swim past lots of piranhas. those quick keep swimming towards the light then when you reach the end go up it'll freeze when it transitions out of cave give a chance for piranhas to bite you go to the shore There we go, we've got both artifacts. Change out of your scuba gear. That's where the entrance is again, at 62 by 45. And there we go, we've got both artifacts. The artifact of a massive, and the artifact of a devious. And that's how you get all the artifacts on the Lost Island map. This video took ages to do, so please like and subscribe. Thank you.